Uh, what I want to show you guys is what I've been trying to jump back on since the end of uh, spring semester, which was my my comic that I started. And I know it was just like a little, hey, we'll just start you off with a little project. But as, as I was working on this project, I was all like, I'm actually really... it with my uh, writing class and so I was able to give it foundation and give it depth more than you know I even really expected there are some things that we're going to work on today uh, which is perspective uh, horizon line and just overall inking which uh, I'm gonna get started with you guys today I may have to go get the rest of my pens but we will see uh, but <laughs> without further ado let's let's get this thing started first of all here is here is the, let's try to get some light on, on this bad boy. Um, here are the comic panels that, oh, really, <laughs> ah, there we go. The comic panels that we will be working on and focusing on today. Uh, oh my goodness, <laughs> I, get, I get dyslexic sometimes, bear with me. Uh, this is the first page. This is the second page. And this is just a, a small start. And, you know, if uh, if we get really into it, like, and, like, I, I don't see us do, doing more than the ink because there's a lot to ink today. But uh, this this is what we are working on today. Man, I, like, my dyslexia is really bad. <laughs> All right, so that was that was the last page of, of this, this three-page deal. So I'm going to turn, turn it to where... Bear with me on on the camera here. I'm using one of these little Logitechs, and uh, I realized that while they can hold some good images, like, and it feels like they can uh, do it, like bend in a lot of different directions. But right now, those directions are not any of the directions that I need. So, okay. All right. I see that you see the first panel, and that is where we're going to get started. And, uh, so I got, I got a few different pins that we're going to st start with today. Uh, I know normally I'll, I'll use graphite, but I've already drawn the, uh, the things. But I want to make sure and go over, uh, make sure I improve these, uh, vantage points, these perspectives. Which, I see I, I started, uh, correcting the center one. Uh, because one thing that I did not like is my perspectives were all kind of out of whack. And I need to improve that. So before before we get into the inks, what we have to do, what we have to make sure we do, is get our perspectives right. If if we don't get our perspectives right, then it's like uh, ev everything no longer seems real, you know. And we're trying to create the illusion that these these people are in this environment. Uh, and you know what? Because in in the in the second panel, the TV is larger than it would be. Uh, you know, I'm I'm gonna kind of show. Not a whole lot of like you're gonna you're gonna see the glow of the TV in the in the darkened back area because I want the emphasis I want the emphasis to be on what is on the TV because the TV is showing that the protagonist the hero of the story she was attacked by a a uh, would be mugger but lo and behold she had a hidden power that was you know lying dormant up until that night that the mugger attacked so really just want to make everything else kind of muted. So that's that's what I'm going to do here. By I'll, I'll have the the table in still in the in the image, but just barely. Uh, and when I get to the inks, when I start inking this, it'll probably disappear, most likely. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna draw this line. It's gonna keep because that that line it feels good for the scene because 
it kind of divides the two characters in in the in the picture plane. And this is their first little riff. Like they're they're becoming friends, uh, but this person is worried about this person because she uses these uh, mysterious powers. I'm I'm okay with with the horizon line here. I think it, it works. Uh, it works to give you know us the the image of of the main antagonist. He's walking through the door like, hey, why is everybody so glum? Uh, I'm gonna keep these two the same, but you know, future reference, I probably won't. Uh, do this but the reason why I'm keeping them this way is because it, it works well to to give a left to right uh, story that, that we're, we're telling because in comics you're telling a story and that's that's the most important thing to remember is like stay focused on the story so all right that's all the the touch-ups with the graphite never wait never start inking and do the touch-ups in the ink because that's permanent so whatever whatever you decide in the ink stays there so all right for a moment let me go uh excuse myself uh, i will be right back if you have any questions please let me know i am down to answer any all questions that you may have coming back just have to dry my hands off gotta make sure you uh you're taking care of yourself out here especially uh i'm i'm trying to go back to school in person soon but this this virus i don't know i don't know if i it'll even be feasible i don't even know if you know i don't want to you know plan for too much and then wind up here i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna switch my seating that way i'm not blocking what what you can see it might be upside down for you but I want, I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. And not uh, because I'm left-handed and it's just going to be tricky. Now, I will say, uh, I didn't add a whole lot of hairlines. So, I know I said uh, you got to make sure everything's done. But if it's tiny details and, you know, ultimately, it's you that faces the consequences if you break the rules of your game and it doesn't turn out right, you know? <laughs> like, I could have drawn those lines and they could have been garbage. And... You know, that, that would have just devalued this, this panel, which, I mean, you don't, you don't want panels to suffer in a comic. You, you, you really don't. And, uh, I think I would really like to do this, this comic as possibly a web comic. So, after I, after I finish doing this traditionally, this, these first three pages, um, I would, I, I'll probably put a poll out and see if people would like to see the, the web comic. Uh, essentially, the protagonist, the main protagonist, she is the uh, daughter of a, a god. She does not know this right now, uh, but that is that is how she was able to fend herself off. Otherwise, she would have been, oh my goodness, I don't even want to think about it, you know? Uh, it's terrible to see violent crimes, and it, it's it's moments like that when you wish that you did have superpowers, you know? And I, I grew up, and I, and I really loved, like, mythological tales and they really mirrored a lot of our superhero tales that, that we have today uh, you know and I really I try to do the best I can to make sure everybody has different features because I I have a certain type of face that I love to draw um but you, you really have to give different types of faces, you know, uh, that's important. And when, when you're drawing and you see the same face, which a lot of my high school career, I've seen the same face every time I, I drew somebody. Um, then it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, I mean, it can be a, a nice face, but it's not going to help you master what you're doing, you know. And when you're, you're putting ink to your, to your pencil drawing, it does, it is, it's essentially tracing your own work. But doing this makes it pop when people read it, when people uh, are looking at the story that you're telling. And you, 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 want, you want it to, to be visually stunning. So uh, growing up, I wasn't always a big fan of using pens and inks and stuff. Uh, here in a little bit, I'll probably grab my other, uh, the rest of my pen set. 
But, uh, yeah, and I, I only have eight canvases, and knowing this is going on, my, my, my painting thing, uh, excuse me for the little, uh, segue, roughly, no segue, segue, but, um, every Thursday I'm going to try to do, uh, a new painting, um, but right now, I only have eight, eight canvases, and I know you're, you're thinking, wow, that's, that's a lot of canvases, but if you're planning on doing a different painting every Thursday, <laughs> how, how many Thursdays are in a year, you know what I'm saying, like, you might, you might have two months, uh, two months with the, with eight canvases, you know, so, I'll, uh, I'll definitely need to reinvest in, into the paint, uh, equipment that I have, um, and who knows, maybe, maybe, uh, I'll, I'll do a giveaway, maybe I'll do, uh, maybe I'll put them on sale, I don't know, but I do know that, I, as, as much as I love, love the, the paintings that I make, uh, they, they won't all be able to stay here, like, they'll have to find a new home, and as heartbreaking as that is, that's the reality of, of this new direction of the stream, because, I mean, you guys have been giving me so much, like, amazing support, just, like, watch, watching my, my art as, as much as you do, and, like, I am really thankful, and, uh, any, any time that you can, uh, you know, leave me a, hey, uh, how's it going, uh, or anything, a message in the chat, it's, it's always a very thoughtful gesture, you know, because, um, we, we always, I always like to hear from people. It's been a, a rough year, and, uh, yeah, I, I, I know you're probably looking at this and saying, hey, what are you doing? There, there was nothing drawn there, uh, before you drew there, and it's like, yes, I am breaking these rules only for the moment. <laughs> and these are more like suggestions, recommendations. Because, you, like, you, you definitely don't want to, uh, you know, think that, think that you're, you're doing, you're, you're drawing a favor, and then later realize that you are, you are shooting yourself in the foot. That is not where we want to be, so. <laughs> uh, some, from time to time, that's, that's what we're, we may have to do, but. I try to, I try to get everything, all the details done in, in, with pencil, and then start with the pen. We're here now, and and so far it looks like it works for me. I, I'm not mad at it. I have noticed when when I draw like on a vertical canvas plane, my my hand doesn't tense up quite as much. So that might be something that I may focus on in the future. Is For the moment, I think I'm going to turn back on that music that we were listening to, uh, because I'm, I got a little bit of a headache and maybe that'll help. It's a little bit bad. Sometimes you get headaches. I mean, but I don't even think that was a, you know, I really find a lot of joy in, in drawing. Uh, I, I really love drawing, I, I love painting. I love inking, I love coloring, uh... And I chose to use this music because it's like, super old, right? And uh... And I, there, there's no copyright, it's open source, so... For you uh, creators out there who are like, man, I wish I had music, you do? Because uh... This music came out well before these copyright laws came, became so crazy, you know?
goodness. Everything's cramping in. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I think the uh, the story that I, I want to make it's gonna it's gonna tackle a lot of different things, but every story should have like one central idea. You know, when you're when you're telling a good story, it's it's got one central idea at least, uh, and that that really helps it stay organized. You know, like and and much like I always talk, I'm all over the place, in, inking one location, going to another, inking another location, seeing how it goes. But yeah, the, uh, the, the focal point of this story would be about religion and, and identity, you know? Because I know there's so many people out there who, who connect their identity with their religion. And that is, that is wonderful, you know? I feel, like, I feel like your religion is a part of your culture. And your culture is a part of the in intricate web that makes you you. You know, so... And you gotta make sure you have... When you're, when you're crafting a crowd in the background, even if it's just just for a scene, you gotta give everybody, like, their own kind of personality. You know, you got, you got the, the girl back here who's t timid but wants to take pictures. The, the lady here who's, uh, you know, like, oh my goodness, we're among a celebrity. This guy who, who is awful touchy, you know, because you're always gonna have someone who, who doesn't know how to keep their, their hands to themselves. Like, especially when I was in the Navy, I hated people just run out and touch me, like, un unless, unless you're someone I'm intimate with, I, like, I don't know, it's, it's hard for me to wrap my head around being okay with that. But yeah, uh, yeah, this, it'll definitely touch on a lot of different topics, uh, religion will be one of the main things, and, and like I said, identity, and it'll, uh, really show that what we feel like we know for certain about the universe, it's just all feelings that, that we, that we, you know, externalize and, and put out there for, for us to hope that, that, that the world is, is, and the universe is really like that, but we don't know for sure. And uh, and I think it's important to to allow ourselves to admit that, yeah, no one knows. We want to know, but it's it's too hard to say. You know, it's too hard to say that we got it all figured out. defying speed and space you know because like i'm extraordinary like that but we've come to the end of another great episode uh we i had a little bit of an issue trying to squeeze this in but so unfortunately there will be a part two and well it's not unfortunately like I'm, I'm glad to complete it, but you know, I want, I would like to do it all in one video. But you know, I understand it's better to keep it short and sweet. So 
for now. Thank you for watching. If you could, look at that subscribe button. See if you've done anything to it lately. And make sure you hit that subscribe if you have not. I mean, if you haven't done anything to it lately because you've been subscribed, then keep it as it is. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Like, I don't want to miss anything for you. And uh, comment what you would like to see, what you would like to get for Thanksgiving. Do you Should, should we give gifts during Thanksgiving? Should we have Thanksgiving? Are you guys having it Thanksgiving? And can you invite me to Thanksgiving? I don't want to cook. All right. I'm out. Peace.